This is Wallace McMillan, Associate Professor of Physics at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and a member of the Atmospheric Infrared Sounder Science Team. You are watching an animation of slightly more than one year, January 1, 2007 through January 13, 2008, of daily maps of carbon monoxide retrieved from observations made by the Atmospheric Infrared Sounder in orbit on board NASA's Aqua Satellite. Here we show the concentrations of carbon monoxide approximately five and a half kilometers above the surface in parts per billion by volume. This is the region of the atmosphere where air is most sensitive to carbon monoxide. It also happens to be a location favorable to long-range transport of carbon monoxide and other material. The air's carbon monoxide retrievals are mapped in color over the blue marble background picture of the Earth. The diamonds marching across the globe represent areas of missing data in the gaps between orbits. Longer stripes of missing data occur due to satellite maneuvers. Irregularly shaped areas of missing data mark the locations of some deserts and the thickest clouds where airs cannot perform carbon monoxide retrievals or over the coldest portions of Antarctica where airs has difficulty making measurements. In general, airs carbon monoxide retrievals are available in weather conditions up to 80% cloudy. Each day, airs makes 324,000 observations with a subsatellite pixel size of approximately 45 kilometers. Typically, more than 50 to 70 percent of these observations yield high quality carbon monoxide retrievals. The main features one sees in this animation are emissions of carbon monoxide from large fires in urban and industrial areas as they move along with weather fronts. The largest industrial urban source evident in this animation is northeastern China. Mexico City often shows up as a carbon monoxide source due in part to its location in an otherwise clean region and also due to its high altitude. Careful examination of multi-month averages reveals several other large cities and urban areas. Because of AERS's sensitivity above the surface, the infrared sounder generally sees larger carbon monoxide concentrations downwind of their sources after the air is lifted to where AERS can see it best. This accounts for the larger carbon monoxide concentrations often seen over the North Atlantic Ocean east of the United States, as well as over the North Pacific Ocean east of Asia. This animation was assembled by Ed Olson at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. We thank the AIRS Project Office, the entire AIRS team, and NASA for their support of this research.